Hello, you are welcome to Discovering Science, a lesson in the Integrated Science series. Our topic for today is deficiencies of food nutrients and balanced diet. This is going to be an interesting lesson, but you know you are what you eat. Therefore, if you deviate from what you eat, you will deviate from what you would be. In our last lesson, we were given an assignment. This is to list the nutrients in a diet composed of bread and milk. The answers are vitamin D, vitamin B, calcium, protein, and carbohydrate. Now, before we start the discussion for today, let us revise the main points we discussed in our last lesson. Which vitamins are classified as water-soluble and fat-soluble? The water-soluble vitamins are vitamins B and C. The fat-soluble vitamins are vitamins A, D, E, and K. Very good. Now, which vitamin is obtained from the following? Whole grain of cereals. Vitamin B. Good. Now, what about milk? Vitamin D. That is correct. Which mineral is linked directly to the proper functioning of each of the following human parts? or processes. The human tooth. Calcium. That is correct. Thyroid gland. Iodine. That is beautiful. Red blood cells. Iron. Good. Now our last one, energy storage. Phosphorus. That is good. Phosphorus because phosphorus forms adenosine triphosphate that stores energy within the body. Well done. Now, state one vitamin responsible for each of the following functions of the human body. One, building of connective tissues. Vitamin C. Correct. Two, building of strong bones. Vitamin D. That is correct. Now, forming enzymes for respiration. Vitamin B. Good. Now, the last one, good eyesight. Vitamin A. Well done. Now that you have answered all the questions correctly, we shall move on to our topic for today. That is deficiencies of food nutrients and balanced diet. It's going to be an interesting lesson. Therefore, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the malnutrition related with human. Two, describe the symptoms of malnutritional diseases. Three, define balanced diet. Four, state the component nutrients of balanced diet. 
Let's begin by looking at food deficiency. What is food deficiency? Deficiency refers to the low level or inadequate level of food nutrients in a given food. Human food or diet is said to be deficient in a particular nutrient. That nutrient exists in very low level or is absent in the food. Regular intake of a diet deficient in a particular food nutrient results in the onset of a malnutritional disease. Malnutritional diseases or deficiencies manifest by showing or giving a number of deficiency signs and symptoms. These signs and symptoms can be avoided when the particular food nutrient is introduced into the diet of man. We shall consider the deficiency symptoms of food nutrients in man. Deficiency symptoms in carbohydrates and protein. First, let's look at carbohydrate deficiency symptoms. A low level of carbohydrate in human diet causes general weakness in the body. In Ghana and most African countries, general weakness resulting from low level of carbohydrate does not often occur. You know why? This is because the bulk of the human diet consists of starch. So increased intake of carbohydrate food rather causes excess or high sugar level in the blood leading to diabetes. Now, protein deficiency. Low level of protein in human diet may cause poor growth, poor body development, and anemia. Anemia is a condition in which the human body has a lower level of blood than the generally accepted level for that age group. In children, protein deficiency results in a malnutritional disease known as koshoko. Children with koshoko have lean limbs, swollen belly, scaly skin, and loss of hair. Observe the limbs, the belly, and the hair. What do you find? Lean limbs, swollen belly, and loss of hair. These are indeed the characteristics of Koshioko. We shall now consider deficiency in vitamins. Vitamins and mineral salts are maintenance foods. Therefore, Deficiencies in these nutrients quickly show malnutritional diseases in the human body. Let us now identify the deficiency symptoms of some vitamins. Now, vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A deficiency may cause poor eyesight, especially in the night. 
This symptom describes a malnutritional disease known as night blindness. Other symptoms are poor skin development, poor growth in children, and dryness of the eyeball. Our next consideration is vitamin B deficiency. Under vitamin B, we identify three types. So we shall consider each of vitamins B1, B2, and B3, and the malnutritional diseases that each deficiency causes. Now here, we look at the vitamin B type and the malnutritional disease associated with it. Vitamin B1, the deficiency will lead to beriberi. Vitamin B2, the deficiency may cause dermatitis. Deficiency of B3 will cause pellagra. Now, the various symptoms that these deficiency diseases give or show. What are the symptoms of beriberi? One, there is general weakness or wasting of muscles. Two, poor digestion and stomach upset. Three, we have poor circulation of blood. And four, we have loss of appetite. Now, symptoms of dermatitis for vitamin B2. One, we have sore at the mouth and eye corners. Two, we have sore on the skin. What about symptoms? One, we have skin enzema. Two, we have diarrhea. Three, abdominal pain. And four, sometimes we have mental degeneration. Now, vitamin C deficiency. Inadequate levels of vitamin C in the diet causes scurvy. Symptoms of scurvy. One, swollen and bleeding gum. Two, poor or slow healing of wound. And three, teeth disorder. Vitamin D deficiency. 
Low level of vitamin D in the diet of man causes rickets. Now, symptoms of rickets. One, knocked knees. Two, we have twisted spines. Three, deformed pelvis. Then four, we have a condition of bow-legged. So you see rickets result from failure of bones to harden. We have looked at vitamins. Let's now consider deficiencies of mineral salts. We shall first look at calcium deficiency. Low levels of calcium in the diet causes rickets as a result of softening of bones. Pregnant mothers often suffer from calcium deficiency because calcium is absorbed from the bones and the teeth to supply developing embryo. Iron deficiency. Low levels of iron in the diet causes anemia. What is anemia? Let's look at the symptoms. One, general body weakness. Two, low level of red blood cells. Three, tiredness. And four, loss of appetite. Iodine deficiency. Low levels of iodine in the human diet continuously causes goiter. Goiter, it is a condition in which the thyroid gland swells as a result of lack of tyroxine. To conclude our discussion of food deficiency, it will be beneficial for us to examine what is referred to as a balanced diet. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet should contain the right proportions of carbohydrate, protein, lipids, vitamins, mineral salts, water, and dietary fiber or roughage.
in order to prevent some of the malnutritional diseases and deficiencies we have discussed, one must eat the correct amount of a good variety of food. This will make us grow normally and stay healthy as well. Therefore, it is important that a balanced diet must satisfy the following requirements. It must contain enough protein, about 20%, fat, about 15%, and carbohydrates, about 55%. It must contain certain proportion of fresh foods, green vegetables, in order to provide vitamins and roughage to stimulate the action of the bowel. It must contain a proportion of salts especially those of sodium, calcium, potassium, and iron. It must contain an adequate amount of water. It should have sufficient calorie value. So you see, you are what you eat. Once you deviate from what you eat, you deviate from what you would be. Before we end our lesson for today, let's summarize what we have learned so far by answering a few questions. Indicate the malnutritional disease against the deficiency provided. One, vitamin A. Night blindness. Good. Two. Deficiency of vitamin B1. Berry, berry. That is correct. Three. Deficiency of vitamin C. Scavy. Good. Number four. Deficiency of calcium. Ricket. Correct. Now, deficiency of iron. Anemia. Good. Deficiency of iodine. Goiter. Good. We take the last one. Deficiency of protein. Koshioko. Good. Koshioko in children. Right. Now, what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is food which contains all the necessary food nutrients in their right proportion. Good. That is correct. Now that we have answered all the questions correctly, let's take this assignment. State four functions of water to the body. Well, after such an interesting and practical discussion, we will end our lesson for today here. But don't forget, 
you are what you eat. Therefore, take in balanced diet so that you may grow up to what you are expected to be. Until we meet again, it's goodbye.